welcome to Pleasant Hill. Let's Good what? <laughs> okay, let's no. do it again. Let's no. do it again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is not real. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to Pleasant Hill. So Good glad you're morning. here. Good morning. I'm so glad y'all are here. I really am, for real. <laughs> I think one of the things that makes us special is Texas State Fellows, so we're going to visit a couple of Texas State Fellow classrooms. I've mentioned this before on visits, but it's really great this year because I'm actually going to get to retain those, those teachers, and they're amazing teachers, and so really, really fortunate. I've begged Lisa Gibbs to let me have them forever, so let's go. Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. What grade is this? Good oh, morning. This is yes. Good morning. Uh, so right now we are in our guided reading time. <laughs> Sorry, I like that you leaned in. No, y'all good. Right now we're in our guided <laughs> reading time and we're doing a small group and we're focused on a, is this a fiction or non-fiction book? Non-fiction. Right, non-fiction. Real stories about real things. <laughs> so we're trying to connect science to reading. Uh, we're focusing on diagrams, labels, and learning some high frequency content specific words. I get my checklist done for guided reading and then I get to work on this project and I do some research and I present to the whole entire class. So Texas State University offers a program that connects uh, our school to districts like Leander ISD. And essentially we get the newest learning theories, the newest strategies, the newest tools, and we bring those here into our classroom. I'll take this from you. <laughs> it's a thing, right? So I think another thing to point out though, for Evan specifically and our Texas, other Texas State fellows is that they get that really just in time professional development, staff development, and then they share it with others. It's not Heather saying, hey, do all this stuff. It's, hey, have you been in Evan Perez's classroom? He has all these structures in place. He has all these, you know, just lots of things. It's yeah. not just Kagan. There's other really good management techniques. They bring a lot of light to our campus and a lot of learning, so I love it. Beginning of the year, it's been a long time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're working on partial questions. Okay, so what I'm more intrigued about is not necessarily the math, but I like how that y'all are grouped. How do you know that she's your partner and what that looks like? So we have this little thing here. I would be A, so I would do this one, and then Jason's B, so he'll do this one. It's called rally coaching, so rally where, coaching. where um, I'm, he tries to solve the problem, but every step that he makes, I have to approve it or no, so I'm like his coach oh. in problems. And then like whenever that. it's my turn to solve, he also does it. It's a Kagan Cooperative Learning Structure that I learned in the Teacher Fellows, and I really like it because there's accountability, unlike sometimes typical partner work. One partner can kind of lead versus this requires them to check in. Academically, I try and group um, my students based off of their levels. I want to make sure that I'm placing a student that's going to be near their level with them, but also high enough and low enough that they'll be in a, like a medium range together that they can work as Push a team. Together. Yeah, Push so together. there's like support on each end. One student might be stronger in one subject or one particular area versus the other student might be that person that balances them out. I have loved having early childhood on our campus. That's a wonderful thing for lots of folks. We have amazing pre-K teachers. So something interesting is that Sammy was a Texas State Fellow last year and she's somebody that we I got to stay convinced got to <laughs> we, we also have three ELE them. classrooms which is that early learning environment this is Cassie Landry she's amazing oh I'm, oh, I'm coming in no 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 oh no <laughs> we are coming up. in Hello. I just moved from Boston this is my first year in the district and I'm really enjoying it it's been a really good fit and really great to change settings Okay, and I do see that you have an assistant over there, yes. and how is that working out for the kids and their development? And it's great. They are, like, key in this classroom. We have kids who are still in diapers. We have kids who need help with feeding. Um, just a lot of support, so I really can't do it myself, and I could not do it without my lovely assistant, Nora. And then I have another assistant who floats back and forth between two classes, so she comes to help us in the afternoon. All right, it's just another pleasant day at the Hill. We're so glad that you guys joined us today. Thanks so much for visiting. Come back anytime.